And pray for your son who's a dope fiend and a juggalo anti-racialist. Whoop whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Who's going chicken hunting? <laughs> I definitely like and support things that are good for the white race. Now, Mr. Cobb was doing the same thing. He wanted a white enclave, if you will, or whatnot, to just have a bunch of people like-minded. They didn't even have to necessarily be uh, white supremacists. They, he just wanted to welcome more white people here to, to just live. Pretty much it's destroyed everybody's life that's peaceful out there in that town. There's only like about 16 to 24 people. We're not really sure exactly. We never have counted how many people are out there. We found out that Craig Cobb had moved to town with the intention of taking over. That was uh, about the middle of August. And um, he was planning on making it an all-white enclave, which would leave my husband and I, we didn't know where. It was a racial issue, and it was something that was really concerning because I was the only black in town. Craig Cobb is a white supremacist that is a fugitive from Canada, wanted on a fugitive warrant from Canada. He has done this his entire life. He's in his early 60s. He goes from country to country, gets kicked out, comes back, goes to another country. This is the problem. He spreads nothing but hate. He referred to my husband as a pet. He was my pet. He had said before, it's legal to have livestock in town here in Leith. He was referring to my husband. Livestock. Yeah, when we realized that nobody was going to help us, and we had to help ourselves. Those people in, in Leith, they fought back. These guys were fighters. These guys had something inside of them not to give up. And that's all we needed. Nobody wanted to give up. Well, we haven't gotten rid of him yet, but we, he is, has been arrested for terrorizing uh, the Leith residents, including myself. Now we're just right back where we started from, but in a colder climate with no support. He, Mr. Cobb had promised to get all the house up to code by the time we came out, and he didn't do anything, and now we're all paying for it. It's not over. Just because they're in jail, it is, it is still not over. Until the, the plans are completely defeated, it won't be over. Racism is never going away. It's just one individual, you know? We got, we gonna tell this, this line for the rest of our lives. Everybody does. The first one there, the...